What's good? I'm The Session. And quite frankly, I don't know if you have what it takes to become an entrepreneur. Prove me wrong. So I got a diamond ring, so yellow like my true state. One cheek, left cheek, bad little, bad little, bad little freak. Money in my pocket, money in my wallet. Now I talk about a crypto fucking wallet. Uh, money from making up on the stock tips. Uh, money is coming on my deposit. What? It's good world. It is your motherfucking boy. The session, new chain, new drip. Yes, indeedy. Beautiful 14k with the VS ones. But hope you are having a fantastic day. How are you this evening? How are you this afternoon? Has anybody asked you that? I hope they have. I am at the session CA on all platforms. Check me out here on YouTube. We're almost at 71,000 subscribers. Very grateful. All right, people. Today I have a video simply asking you three questions you can ask yourself. Are you an entrepreneur? Do you have what it takes to become an entrepreneur? Will you be a good entrepreneur? Can you get your foot in the door with entrepreneurship? I'm here to give you three questions. Question, step-by-step -step checklist you can ask yourself. Okay, do I have what it takes? If you, I know a lot of y'all DM me, such as these. And y'all ask me all the time, hey, you know, how can I leave my nine to five job, etc. And you know, me as being one of the princes of telling people how to create for themselves. I was thinking like, damn, it seems like they're skipping steps. They're, they're, people are forgetting common sense and realizing you have to actually have a skill to be good at in order to translate it over to leaving your nine to five. So I figured with these three steps, I hope you will be able to understand that everyone needs to make themselves valuable. So I recommend everybody stay in your nine to five or whatever until you find otherwise or do what I like to do. Learn something from every experience you have. So before we even get into the questions, Learn from every experience you have. So if you have a job, you should be working at a job that relates to the field you want to have your own business in. So then you can learn a bunch of skills or if it's not directly that same field or sector, some shit that correlates so you can take those skills and, and attributes that you have and apply them to your workplace. OK, so you should not be working at Target if you want to go be a teacher. OK, you have to correlate the skills. The skills need to correlate. So you should be working somewhere that correlates you know you can use the skills that you have in order to further yourself all right without further ado let's get into the first question now the very first question question one are you exceptionally good at something are you good at something are you nice at something as we say on the street are you exceptionally good at something now it's okay if you're not because sometimes people get it misconstrued y'all might think oh i'm not good at anything you know i never had no skill whatever fuck all that you have to think first off what are your hobbies what are your interests what type of even video games shit that you do are you exceptionally good at any of that if you're good at shopping if you're good at putting outfits together it doesn't matter maybe in your mind you might think it's small because your parents and your family or your friends in school may have told you growing up you can't get a job doing that what do you think you're a model it doesn't matter if fashion makes you happy as long as you can put things together and you're good at that skill and every time you go out you get compliments or something like that Maybe you want to start working at a nine to five in the fashion industry. So, you know, OK, after two years, after three years, after a year, whatever, five years, I'm going to leave and then use those skill sets for here. And again, remember, it doesn't matter what the thing is that you're good at. All that matters is you're good at it. You can perform at a high level and it brings you happiness. If you can be happy doing something that brings you happiness, look at video games. There's children making three six million dollars off of video games there's tournaments all the time phase team phase phase clan has a they're in the stock market now they have a spec right now so anything is possible and what we talk about in the stock market on the money channel you know we always discuss the future of the individual so the more popular or more skillful you get right here and known for your skill the more you're able to monetize and get more people to purchase more consumers and most importantly, for all my people out there who are like, man, I don't even have a skill. I don't know what I'm good at. This is for you. Don't let them gurus and all these people lie to you. I go on TikTok is a million different gurus, YouTube, million different gurus. I'm not a guru. I simply lead to the lake, like I said. And now we're being blessed enough to have the results to match our life. Remember, go ahead and work the nine to five. There's nothing wrong with having a job because you have to learn from somewhere. Everybody wants to come right out of college and think you know so much, even me. I went to this prestigious school. I got my associates in culinary. Then I got a bachelor's in marketing. I'm thinking these degrees are going to put me in places. But when it puts me in this fine dining world renowned kitchen, I'm still only making $12 an hour. You know, so you have to 
prepare, humble yourself, humble yourself. It don't matter where you went to school. All that's going to do is get you a foot in the door. Most times you still have to do the hard work. You still have to do whether it be hard and medio, medium or easy work. You have to do it. You have to put in the time, the hours, so you learn better habits. You make a better structure. So don't trip if you don't, if you feel like you're not good at anything. Think about what you enjoy, what makes you happy, and go online. Look at photography. Look at graphic design. Look at, you know, um, even middlemaning and promoting products to the right people. That's how you get... That's how you get plugged in. That's what we call the plug, the person who knows how to connect the right entities with each other. So that was question number one. Are you exceptionally good at something? Now, question number two, you need to ask yourself. You need to sit with yourself and ask yourself, do I ever use the word trying? Do I ever use the words I'm trying? That's what you need to ask yourself. Do I ever use the words I'm trying? Well, I'm about to. Well, I'm trying. I was thinking about, uh, yeah, well, I might. All of those are the same thing. I might, maybe, really indecisive. If you're using any of those phrases, entrepreneurship is probably not cut out for you. And not the fret. Again, there's plenty of jobs. We need workers. Only a few of us are going to be entrepreneurs. 20, 30% of the population is probably going to make businesses. We need the remaining 70 to 80% of the population to be workers. So there's nothing wrong with having a job. I'm just saying my channel is predicated to people who are dreading their jobs. They're not aligned in their purpose they're not moving towards their purpose because when you say we already did the we big on words here so when you say what what you drink we know water we can change the molecular structure of water with our words what you say has a very big impact on your life and what is represented now so if you say i'm constantly trying or i might you're telling the universe you're indecisive and you don't even know what you want you may do that but you're not good enough it doesn't exist yet so rather than say you're trying, you can say you're doing. This is one of the biggest red flags you, you will ever hear, or ever see. You can hear it so easily and so subtly. And when you go to Starbucks or your favorite coffee place or wherever you go in the world, your friends, your family, it's very important you correct your friends and family when you hear this because by doing this, you're going to prohibit them a life of misery, medi mediocrity. You have to speak what you want. Okay, so let's even if you're going for a job, you're going on a date with a girl. If you say, "We, hey, we're going to this restaurant. Um, I love this restaurant. We're going here at 8 p.m. It's be, you know, be ready. Wear your nice dress. That sounds amazing. A girl's gonna be like, wow, look at that decisiveness. I didn't have to think about what we're going to do. But if you go and say, well, I'm trying to decide what we should eat or what, what merger business we should do with this other company. But, you know, I may go over here and work with this company, but I just don't know. You don't sound too sure as a leader. People, if I'm a buyer or a consumer, I'm not going to buy that product. You're not even sure of a way you can help me. You're not displaying a way that you possess leadership. When leaders say go left, everybody goes left because they the, the person says it with certainty. They believe where they're going. They believe where they're headed. So always make your words be impactful. Does your purpose even drive you? I mean, honestly, does your purpose, business, project, whatever it is you're investing in, does it give you that Jeff Gordon drive? Do you want to be like, you know what? I'll do anything for this. You have to want this shit like you want to breathe. Same way you want to eat. Do all those things. Take care of your family. You have to want this business that same way. Whatever job you're at now, you want to make sure you're learning skills again that are going to help you because you want to solve a problem. The business is only going to work when you're solving a problem and people know that they need it for that. Look at Shark Tank when you see the scrub daddy and all these random things that you like, damn, how could that ever be? Look at Qualcomm and iPhones, products that they need. It doesn't always have to be the most popular. Even if you're niche down, just make sure that your product is the number one or top thing that a person can use to, to fix their problem or to, to alleviate their worries. Solving a problem for things that are necessary are going to get you sales. Making shit that's important to you is not going to get you sales. You go out and make some flying bread tomorrow, no one wants to fucking bread to fly. It's not going to get you probably that many sales unless it's a novelty thing that's only going to bring you sales one time. You need to have proven sales. I, um, a year or two, that's proven. I've only, I've had this, this level of success for one year. So at my first you know, seven months, I was like, oh, this is easy. But then on that eighth, ninth, tenth month, it starts to decrease. You have to revamp. You have to revitalize. You have to always keep understanding that people need to know that this solves a problem. And you have to explain it to them clearly, concisely, and flawlessly. And remember, your reputation precedes you. So when you're speaking about this shit all the time, your family should already know when you come around. This is your life. Your friends, 
they know that you believe in this. Your consumers know that you believe in a product. You don't want to talk anyone's head off, but they want to be able to see it in your actions and your attitude and your demeanor and your aura. So when someone sees you waking up at the ass crack of dawn, going to bed late, putting in time, you are putting everything you have. Alexa, shut the f When you putting everything into this, when you are giving this your all, when you are really putting your best foot forward and waking up and you're not complaining one bit about it, you just taking taking the beatings you know it's going to take a lot of effort it's going to take money up front it's going to take capital it's going to take long nights this entrepreneurship shit is not easy it's not a cakewalk this is not some shit that everyone does or everyone would do it remember 96 percent of all the money is controlled by four percent of the population so everyone does not have businesses only a small amount of people make the businesses so the less complaining you do, the more effort you put into it, people are going to be willing to invest in you. It doesn't matter if you make jeans, a product, a law firm, they want to invest in you. They like what you represent. So that's another thing that the, I'm, I'm seeing the shift. The more popularity you can get, the more um, of a better reputation you can get known for your product service or your likeness, you will succeed and be able to make sales. Just remember, nobody in this fucking world owes you a thing. Not your parents, not your mom, not your dad, whatever. They did their job. They got you here. You are alive. You are a functioning member of society. You have to get up off your ass. You got to get to it. Put them feet to the pavement and use your walkers and get to stepping. You hear me? This is the information generation. There's plenty of uh, room for everyone to grow, but you got to want it. Everybody's not meant to be an entrepreneur. This video is for you to, you know, three questions you can ask right off top to see, damn, am I meant for entrepreneurship or not? You can see it right here. Um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Let me know. Hey, are you? A, hey, I'm an entrepreneur. Are you or are you not? Let me know after you ask these three questions how it went for you. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share this video with somebody, and make sure you follow me on TikTok at the Session CA. I got a new page coming for y'all too with the chefing. Everything's blowing up. New giveaway when I get to 7K on TikTok as well. I love you. Hope you learn from this video. Let's go up. Until next time, stay awesome, stay healthy, stay lit. You did.